Not on my corner, honey. Down by the bus stop. I'm working this corner. <laughs> uh, this is my part of the show that's called Red's Corner. See that sign? Red Drive and Fox Avenue. Clever, huh? I thought I had myself. <laughs> what I get to do every week is to bring out some of my dear old friends and great talents. The man I'm about to introduce is neither a friend or a great talent. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, this is Slappy White's new album. I guess you're wondering why there's no picture on the cover. Uh, you see, I'm the producer of Slappy's new album, and I want to see to it that it sells before I spend any more money on the cover. <laughs> so here's Slappy White doing a few things from his new album. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the funniest men I know, my former partner, the great Slappy White. <laughs> You be real good, see, and you might get your own show. I hope I'll so. I'll be over here. That's the boy, my buddy, Red Fox. That's my man. <laughs> Red! Red! Yeah, Red and I have been buzzing along. He gave me this watch. Look at that shark proof, dust proof, self winding, anti magnetic, and the damn thing caught on fire. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me light this cigarette. See, I don't smoke on there. I just smoke the time I act. See, when I smoke a regular, I know I've been on, say, 18 minutes. I smoke a king size, I know I've been on for 36 minutes. Got a hold of one in Mexico one time. I was on for two days. <laughs> Dog at the airport sniffing your luggage for narcotics. Old dog sniffed my bag and sit down and wrote two hit tunes for Gladys Knight. <laughs> nah, but I feel good now ever since Ellis Hale they brought out Roots. Boy, well, wasn't Roots good? Man, it make you feel good to be among the minority. You can walk out now and say black is beautiful and be proud. I had an uncle who was so black and all to have a brown skinned kid, he had to marry a ghost. <laughs> oh, Roots made so much money, we got our own credit card now called Massa Charge. <laughs> A lady said to me, Mr. Hey, Slappy, I didn't see you too much on Sanford and Son. Well, see, I made enough money to move to a better neighborhood. <laughs> my next door neighbor is Spanish. First day I moved in, he come rapping on my door. I opened my door, he said, come move star, ooh, stay. I said, yeah, I came to stay. <laughs> That's the only trouble I have about Beverly Hills. The white barbers are not too familiar with this new Afro hairdo. <laughs> I go in the barber shop, I jump in the chair, I say, Angelo. I want the Afro look, and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I had a bone in my nose. <laughs> and he was trying to put a saucer in my lip. <laughs> hey, but let me tell you this before I go. You know, I did a benefit show last night at an insane asylum. And I didn't know it was an insane asylum. So I'm coming down this long hall. I see a guy hanging from the ceiling and another guy was mopping the floor. So I said to the doctor, just why is he hanging up there? He said he thinks he's a light bulb. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna give him some therapy. So the doctor unscrews him. <laughs> now he's taking him down the hall so the guy who was mopping the floor is tagging along. The doctor turned around and said, the way you going? He said, man, I can't work back there in the dark. 